What's up, New York? My name is Feldon. I pay cash for phones like iPhone 7, smartwatches, laptops, cameras, and more. Now I'll tell you what I'm asking for. Send a message for a quote and tell me what you got. I'll take the little that you have and turn it to a lot. Hey, what's up, guys? So in this video, we're going to go over where you can source products to sell on eBay, Mercari, or locally for your phone flipping business. Now, one of the best places to get leads, and I tell people this all the time, is Craigslist. Craigslist is a great place to go and look for deals. You can search for phones and other items. You can pretty much find some of the best deals on Craigslist because there are a lot of motivated sellers on Craigslist because they know that this is the place to go when you want to get quick cash for your phones and your other items. Facebook Marketplace is also a great place to get leads. The leads on Facebook Marketplace are not as good as the leads on Craigslist in my opinion. I've always found better deals on Craigslist, but nonetheless, it is the new way that people are listing their items for sale, so you can definitely go on there and find people selling items. Negotiating deals. I would have to say this is one of the most important parts. A lot of people reach out to me and say, hey, I made an offer on this item. The person said, no, it doesn't work. Well, that's not how negotiating works. You know, think about when you're dating. Sometimes you're going to get rejected a few times before the person actually agrees to go out on a date with you. The same thing applies in business. If you're trying to buy an item for less than what it's worth, of course someone's going to say no right out the gates because they want to see if they can get you to come up on price. But if you keep the conversation going, eventually you'll be able to close them. So, you know, say for example, someone's selling, you know, an iPhone, I don't know, 8 Plus for like 300 bucks. You look online and you see that's what it's selling for. Your goal is to try and get them down to $200 so that you can make anywhere from $50 to $100 in profit after you sell it on eBay. If they want to get $300, that's probably what they're going to have to do because most times you see items sitting on Marketplace or Craigslist for a couple weeks before it sells because these people are trying to sell it for top dollar. And if they need quick cash, negotiating with them won't be that hard as long as you're talking to the right person at the right time. Follow-up. I'm not a big fan of following up with leads. I, I talk to so many. It is a great practice in business, though. You should follow up with leads. Um, it's something that I could probably do better at. I, I do fine with, without it, honestly. Um, I'll follow up with repeat customers, but cold traffic, it, I, I, don't, I don't really waste time with it. Not, not in this business. There are too many people selling too many different things, and if I'm messaging all these people that I hit up, I'd be contacting hundreds of people a day. Handling objections. Kind of like I said a little bit earlier, you want to just get good at negotiating. The focus isn't on closing every deal. It's on getting comfortable at letting people tell you no. People are going to tell you no in any business, not just reselling. You know, you're going to message a lot of people. People are going to tell you, no, you just have to get good at handling their objections. And the way that you do it is just listen to what they say. Listen to why they're saying no. If someone rejects your offer, find out why. You know, is it that the price is too low? Maybe they need a little bit more. And sometimes they, they have other stuff for sale. So you could ask them for that too. And maybe if you can buy multiple items from them, you guys will be able to make that deal. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, get right to the point. So if you like the video, comment, like, subscribe, share, and message me. You know, I'm always open to feedback and questions. I'm here to help you guys learn and grow. So, peace.